Hello, mic check. Mic check. There was some interruption while uh, trying to make the video online. I think uh, the viewers are here. Uh, are you able to view the video? If yes, just type a yes. Are you able to listen to me? In case yes, we will begin. This is an important topic that we are going to discuss today. This is on uh, this is on the sustainable food systems. Technical Sahib, welcome to you. Thanks for uh, being uh, giving a prompt response. All right. So, welcome to Edukimi's YouTube channel. And uh, my name is Harsh Singh, and I will be presenting to you the featured news for 27 September 2021. This featured news for today is on the sustainable food systems. The name itself is uh, enough for you to understand. We are talking of not just food, we are talking of the food system and sustainable. So all these three words are the key words in this uh, particular uh, uh, topic. Welcome to you, Abhishek. Abhishek, is the sound good? Can you hear me? Feel me? Hello to you. I hope you are able to hear me properly. So I'll begin. The sound is good. Waiting for your hint. There is a slight lag when I transmit and while you receive. This lag is almost of 10 to 12 to 15 seconds at times. So if you are able to see a small pause in me at my end, it is because while I am speaking, I am waiting for the responses and that's how this lag. Anyhow, I think I should begin right now. Okay, so what are we talking of? We are talking of one, sustainable, two, food and three, system. This topic is one of the most relevant topics in the current times. Why? Because instead, uh, now because after India and the world having achieved a reasonable level of food sufficiency, we do not have distribution su sufficiency in the world. Not only that, we do have food sufficiency in India as a country, but uh, we do not have uh, nutrition sufficiency. We do have grains, but we do not have nutrition. So let me try to encapsulate the whole of it in a, a few images. See, this is the times of drought. This is the times of flood. This somehow indicates to us that the whole food system is a little fragile economy. It is agile in the sense that, that if there is more rainfall, if there is more of temperature, the production will change immediately. So this is a fragile system. This is one part. The second component of it is you can look at what we ourselves do, wastage of food. As much as around 20%, 17 to 20% of food that is created is wasted. You are, what you are seeing in this image, all this food is getting wasted. So whatever nutrition we have created, it gets wasted. Not only that, look at the security of nutrition. We are not talking of food security. India has sufficient food grains, but are we able to give the sufficient nutrition, we are talking of protein, we are talking of micro, micronutrients, we are talking of certain essential minerals and vitamins to children. What they eat on is uh, mere rice. Right? So look at the children from countries in Africa. Out of malnutrition, the situation is this, that uh, out of uh, 10 people in the whole world, one is definitely in malnutrition. And if you talk of anemia, if you talk of other issues, there are uh, there is no dearth of these kind of issues. So, encapsulating what uh, food security, food systems might have is one, nutrition, nutrition security. The second one is about uh, uh, the uh, the the kind of system it is. It is a very 
fragile system so fragile system fragility of the system the third one is uh, its distribution across the world and wastage food wastage and the fourth component which becomes very important in terms of climate change is that the food system itself contributes to climate change as men, as much as 30% of global warming gases these greenhouse gases are released by food systems i am not only talking of cropping i am also talking of animal husbandry i am also talking of forestry all of the forest and uh, agricultural seg segments included together i am talking of it releasing the greenhouse gases so food system has to be sustainable this is what is the agenda and that is why united nations did conduct a food system summit 2021 india was also participated in this in its own capacity and uh, the important uh, segments as i discussed were three three or four of them but if you look at the whole system the system of food security food security being sustainable is not just about making people eat and poverty redu reduction when sustainable goal sdg 1 talks about uh, sdg 1 it talks of removal of uh, extreme poverty and uh, hunger by 2030 and hunger by 2030 and that is why this uh, system becomes very important so we are talking of water and climate and ecosystem and genetics we are not only talking of that we are talking of soil and air quality and the natural elements present in it not only that if you look at a level deeper we are talking of the inputs that we provide not only that we are also talking of the consumption pattern amongst people so the consumption of meat products the consumption of pulses the consumption of micronutrients all of them have their own impact what are the impacts we are talking of food waste we are talking of i'm repeating all those important ones we are talking of greenhouse gases global warming we are talking of uh, nutritional element in the food and that is how the, the diverse behavior is reflected around the world right and we need to calculate all of this and after that we will be able to achieve food security not only security we need it to be sustainable and we need the whole system to be managed in a system food system so uh, largely this is why the summit was uh, uh, organized and three important components of it were economic social and environmental now whether we utilize this particular thing this particular entity about food security in a positive aspect we will have impacts on economy society and environment all three of them and even if we are talking about the negative impacts it will have impact of economy environment and social impacts so while the positive impacts will re reflect amongst the society in terms of better rewards better nutrition abilities better living standards of people the economic awards will be also about better jobs increased remuneration to people environmental impact will be sustenance see food has not been cultivating food has not been a natural element of the earth systems we have changed the system so that uh, we are able to provide these new kind of crops around the world and that is why uh, new, this has to be sustainable on the other hand if you see the negative side of it if we are if we are having unsustainable crop production look at the environment what happens in punjab we are seeing the decrease in the level of water table what about the societal impacts if you see the impact of green revolution the side effects we have certain districts where there is increased cancer presence just because of usage of fertilizers and pesticides look at the impa economic impact of using bt cotton so uh, people have started to getting bankrupt i'm talking of the agricultural people the people who are providing inputs so if hey, we are not making it sustainable it is going haywire in economic social and environmental dimensions all the three of them and this is what we have provided in our featured article as well so explaining what food system is system is complete in itself so we are ta talking of all the range of actors not only international bodies like food and agricultural organization world health organization we are also talking of different countries we are also speaking of the agricultural laborers the institutions which are into domain of research the government and policy making so this is the food system and to make it sustainable we have to organize this fragile unexamined and vulnerable 
system itself right so system of food management not only that we uh, we also have to try to curtail the food wastage because if we curtail the wastage the greenhouse gas wastage will get reduced see present way of cultivating is also causing greenhouse gases so when we have excess of uh, paddy cultivation by flooding the field it releases methane not only that if uh, uh, if the animal husbandry and later meat production is the excess quantity it also consumes a lot of amount of uh, water so all these have to be rationalized food wastage has to be reduced nutrition has to be balanced and this is how certain important recommendations have been given by this uh, organization by this meat so uh, you can download this whole pdf on the website you can go this is available on the dikimi's website in resource gazette section in the featured news so i will quickly tell you what these important four or five aspects were right so first one is action one uh, access to safe nutritious food for all right so what are we talking of bio fortified foods we are also talking of achieving sdg 1 by 2030 yes so this is one the second one is sustainable consumption so we want that people should be able to consume all the kind of nutritious food and loss the food waste loss should be reduced by 50% by 2030 this is second con component the third one is having the food production to be nature positive production the nature we should not be extracting from nature we should be giving it back in a sustainable manner this is the third component fourth is the economy aspect livelihood and the equality amongst people and the fifth was resilience so resilience means if the area is getting desertified it needs to be recalibrated the whole area has to be uh, ensured that it is resilient to desertification it does not come to become uh, an area of unfertile land it should become fertile so agroforestry practices could be done this is one and we have seen a very good example of sahel resilience how we are talking of uh, the green belt we are talking of the uh, the the, uh, the longest green belt in the world in terms of the green wall that we are trying to build at sahel region to stop desertification so these are the examples that you can give in an answer like this now this is the reason that the whole food system needs to be reshaped right and this is how the article concludes see after having uh, concluded this discussion you can think about what a system means what the food system means and how to make it sustainable the three aspects of it the social economic and environmental taken together and certain important statistics need to be pointed out for example 30% of all the food produced Uh, that uh, leads to global warming Glo greenhouse gases production so 30% of it so uh, what i meant was 30% of uh, the global warming is caused by the food products food production not only that 17% of these food is wasted so these are the kind of statistics you can use these are presented by united nations itself this is also put in our articles so these are uh, these particular statistics they will provide credibility to your answer now all you can do right now is uh, uh, think about this particular question and how you would write about it discuss the need to reform the global food system what are the actionables planned by united nation in this endeavor now these are the actionable these five pointers if you mention you will score marks not only in food security these are for india as well india and agriculture as well so provides you multiple ways in which you can use this fa fact and data So after having uh, concluded this discussion we will meet at 5:30 again for the gazette discussion and 6:30 for the featured discussion tomorrow evening till then all i want you to do is to like this video if you like our effort to subscribe to the channel you will receive timely updates thanks for watching